Hi there, it's me, Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet. This one right there on the freaking blah, 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 counter. Blah, 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 blah. We got lots of cameras. We come on down to Timmy Joe Warehouse. I'm not 100% sure what we have here in stock because I can't see anything. Our prices, I hope, aren't too low. We're making PCs for all the Fortnite kids, all the PUBG kids, all the Roblox kids. They want a, they want a game on the computers. Consoles aren't cool anymore. Mm -hmm. And you could maybe even turn a profit on a sweet computer like this. Or maybe you just need a computer and you want to build one on the cheap. Well, $280 gets you this. It's a little setup. There's some new parts involved. There's some uh, eBay parts involved, and there's some local deals to be had. But if you want to get it all together, cue an intro, and I'm gonna show you how you could build your own computer for 280 American dollars, and then you'd be off to the races playing all the latest and greatest games at, you know, reasonable settings. Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Actually, several days later, I'm Timmy Joe. I don't know what I said before, but make videos. We just did a build. Uh, we're going to break down uh, how much it costs and all the things and stuff. I actually have somebody that's going to be buying this PC very soon, but look at the computer. We're playing Fortnite. GTX 660, uh, Core i5 2500, 8 gigs of RAM, uh, mechanical hard drive, and this thing in Fortnite is getting 120 frames a second. Uh, doing really well, actually, with uh, medium settings here in Fortnite, so we can jump out of here, but I just wanted to kind of show that, you know, the game runs really well, Half, blah, 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 not bad at all, and, you know, 1% loads and stuff like that might be affected by the mechanical hard drive, and the fact that this is a bit of an older, you know, platform, the Core i5-2500, I just want to get out, yeah, confirm, there we go, launch back into Windows, my hair probably doesn't look great, who knows what's going on, but, uh, yeah, here's the system, yeah, minimize, yeah, exit the application, and, uh, you know, I just reviewed this GTX 660 right here, this exact one, uh, but we put together the, the system, and I'm actually selling it. So I tested GTA 5, I tested Battlefield 1, I tested Fortnite, and I tested Far Cry 5, just because I wanted to see what the performance hits would be with a range of titles, uh, you know, going from what I tested this, you know, on, which was the, uh, you know, 7740X with uh, 32 gigs of RAM, this being a i5 with, uh, you know, less hyper-threading, you know, five, six years older, and a uh, you know, quarter of the RAM, I should say, and, and it holds up. The graphics card is the limiting factor, and even when you step back to a platform this old, uh, here we'll throw up, uh, you know, Battlefield 1, it's playing that opening sequence, which is a really hard sequence to run, uh, really, really well here, you know, in comparable frame rates to uh, the, the, uh, it running on the, the better system, the same graphics card, the load times are absolutely horrendous on this. I'll admit it. You know, when you go from an NVMe drive to <laughs> playing on a mechanical hard drive, it's a little painful, but it's not bad. It's not, you know, it's, it's doable. And this is, uh, basically a purpose built gaming machine. It's got the right parts in it to do the little gaming business. I sure hope my hair's all right. It looks weird. Anyway, so let's get out of this. We'll go to this web page and uh, look. I want to load up. Uh, I got a price chart here too. Boof! There we go. So I bought the motherboard, CPU, and RAM on eBay. Click. There we go. I bought it for 113.93 shipped Canadian. Uh, so a Core i5 2500 on like a not very good motherboard. It's an Intel motherboard. 
which, you know, that ages it pretty well. They stopped making motherboards pretty much right around here. But uh, it's an i5. It's a good CPU, 2500, you know, it gets over 3.3 gigahertz, something like that. Uh, and, you know, the, the, right there in the Sandy Bridge, that's where the performance starts. So uh, the power supply in it is a $34. It's actually uh, even gone down a bit in price since I, I set it up in here. But it's a refurbished 600 watt EVGA uh, non-modular power supply. I got it on Newegg uh, on a deal, so that's a really good price. Keep in mind, this is all Canadian, so we'll do an American conversion in a second. Uh, the DIY, this is a really nice case has like a cool lighting effect in the front two bars shooting lights out the front it's got comes with three case fans one's a blue led one it's got the basement it's got all the you know stuff it's an acrylic side panel but you know it's it's not bad at all and it makes a system like this with an antiquated green motherboard actually look nice so click that closed and then uh yeah you see the conversion here i spent 358 dollars canadian which is Oh man, our dollar is terrible, but you can get the, you can build this PC for under $300, 300 or $275 basically in the States if you're clever and you do it this way. Now upgrades, I would definitely uh, consider getting an SSD like I showed before, like this one on the screen, the Sunbow or whatever, it's 60 gigs, it's an SSD, it's faster than a mechanical hard drive and you put Windows on it in this system, it's going to add like what, 25 bucks to the total cost, maybe 30 bucks with taxes and shipping and stuff and you're going to get a much better result loading games and you know running, you know, running Windows, it's going to be noticeable. Uh, other things you could do like the eight gigs of ram in here is not bad but i just you know it's ram i've bought in on craigslist or site i attributed it to having uh what 40 bucks you know it sounds about reasonable for like a generic stick of ddr uh you know you might want to get dual channel i'm not i don't have this in dual channel right now that might be affecting performance a bit but uh you know you list all this down this is a playable with fortnite you know medium settings over 100 fps uh, you know, maybe with 1% lows getting d near the 30s, but it's going to be an online playable gaming machine for, for Fortnite. So, uh, you know, you look at your Far Cry 5, this is a new game. Uh, and yeah, I got to put it to low, but it's playable. It's completely playable with this setup. So you can even play modern games with this system. So uh, I'm going to quit it here and uh, we're going to uh, sell the system and I'll come back in just a split second and show you how I made out on the deal and the kind of money you can make if you want to put systems like this together and how Fortnite has really made, you know, changed the tides, I think. Uh, PUBG, Fortnite, maybe, uh, you know, some of these Roblox games and, uh, you know, Minecraft did it before, but it's all happening again where the PC is actually the more desirable option. So I'm going to snap my fingers. Whoa, we're back. What is up? We, I obviously sold the PC mystery box. <laughs> So keep in mind, I had $360 Canadian, and I have been actually selling a lot of these, you know, this general vicinity of PC, whether it's a quad-core Phenom or FX series chip with 8 gigs of RAM, uh, or, you know, this one was a Core i5, I purposely found, you know, an OEM-style motherboard with, you know, a cheap solution, came with a cooler, came with everything you need. I actually had the DDR3 laying around, so it's not like that even really cost me. You could take a little bit out of this and then i put that up online and usually within a couple of days i get a response uh you know sometimes within an hour or two because kids are freaking playing fortnite it's brought a pc master race revolution going on and i'll prove to you what's going on so first of all uh i sold i was selling it for 500 i got boom 300 canadian monopoly dollars i could make it rain Woo! 300 dollars. okay then um sorry here uh, I, I gave him a monitor as well, uh, a little 24 inch 1080p Samsung monitor. Uh, I got in trade. I don't need, I'm, you know, don't need another little 1080p monitor. No, no problem. So that bumps the cost of this maybe up to, you know, $350 American we'll say. And then in exchange, I got the $300 Canadian and ba -ba -ba, people are literally trading their consoles to play Fortnite on crappy PCs with Core i5s from six years ago and a GTX 660. Literally. PlayStation. I, you know, you might say, Timmy Joe, I didn't know you played console games. Well, I don't usually, but this little fucker has exclusives you can't play on PC. And I really want to play that God of War game. It looks really fun. Other things included. Uh, this is like a $60 game for sure. For Honor. Freaking $60 game right there. Uh, headset. 
because, you know, I needed another one of those. Uh, you know, HDMI cable, controller. Oh, he bought this for 20 bucks, so can't really. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty good deal. I think I made out pretty well. I don't normally, I usually sell them for money. I don't accept trades um, unless it's a PC thing that will help me, well, you know, with another sale further along. But I've been doing this uh, for a little bit where I pick up this hardware on a budget and I put together this like $300 system, $400 system and sell it for five, $600, uh, making like a 30% profit. So you can use this as a template to go ahead and make your own Fortnite PC. That was a pretty good Fortnite PC. I would, however, add an SSD to make the load times quicker and uh, maybe a little bit better graphics card. Like, uh, you know, I had a good enough power supply, a little uh, EVGA in there that would do that. But, uh, you know, then, uh, you know, you could play Fortnite no problem with all your buddies you're not gonna you know be worried about lag you're not gonna be too worried about it because it's a fairly easy game to run on most modern pc hardware and you know like i say people are giving up their consoles and in exchange with 300 bucks to get a little glimpse of Fortnite on the PC because it's been that big of a revolution. So, what have you guys been selling out there? I'd love to know in the comments below what kind of, uh, you know, little deals you've been cooking up. If you think I made out, like, uh, good here, is God of War, the new game for PS4, uh, you know, worth selling a PC and, you know, playing it on, <laughs> you know, PS4. Uh, I'm going to pick up my money and we're heading to the strip club actually we're probably just gonna go see Deadpool tonight that'll be fun with the old wife and I could take her out for a nice little banquet lunch with my $300 and then when I come home maybe I'll play God of War I'll see you guys in another video thanks very much for watching we'll have a good day